Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Boom Black Splash Party. We're gonna be regular King Arthur's. Gee! The Sheep of Wellington. Long time no see. So all you have to do is this. Oh, great. You have to actually knock things into there. So I think a one to one ratio of sling to uh, vanish point lock is not what we're looking for. Yeah, not what we need. So you a good deal more than that. Greed sheep is displeased. Problem being, of course. That we need quite a few points. I think things like that happen that would actually be viable. It's just a question of whether I can do that. Well, it wasn't as much as I needed, but it was something. So it's a start. It's actually not too far from what I need to do. I got really lucky at one point getting three of those together. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that multiple times. I don't know if that's something I can do consistently anyway. Crap, that was not what I wanted to do at all. Pretty much the same thing I did la as last time, except with one last 20. I can work out some kind of strategy for getting a bunch of 20s on there. Of course, one doesn't actually work the time. Yeah, the weird thing is, you need to actually you need to hit hard enough to get multiple. to affect multiple blocks. Then soft enough to actually get them to go into the tent instead of just flying off wherever else. That wasn't the way I meant to do that. Took a little bit of setup though, I don't know if that's really something I take the luxury of doing. See, if I got on that 120, I would have been in the same place that I was at the, in the, the, the second try. I got something going there. Yeah, a little bit of a rhythm. But, um, it's me lost as you see one of those. No, actually, no, it hasn't. It, uh, we saw it very recently, actually. Whatever. Okay. I see money. Actually, I wasn't really looking for money in the past few levels. Oddly enough, they don't actually have a tune for getting on the boombox in every level or anything like that. Here's that money. Okay, so 380. So that was actually oddly functional. Knocking that off the way I did. Worked surprisingly well. I ended up losing 10 off from doing that, but it works better than one might expect, in any case. 
I need stuff not to fall forwards. Negative 50, oh my god. Yeah, they're a little cruel with that. Oh, come on. I don't know if there's a... I'm sure there's some consistent way for knocking these off without causing problems, but I really don't want to be. That worked oddly well. Of course, I want everything to fall off this way. Away from the things that can cause you problems. But I also really don't want any baseballs landing on well, those for one. I don't want them laying on the fireworks either, though. <laughs> Being a little risky with some of these baseballs in terms of having them accidentally hit the negative point blocks, though. Stay on the 50. So that wasn't perfect, but it was good, I feel like. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sheep lives to greed another day. One more to go. Two? Okay. Let's see that. I suspect, of course, that would help to actually stop explosions. Wait, things are still happening, game. Stop. I'm still getting gems! Shut up! So, 29. We do need nearly all of them. So, is there money hidden in every level? I think there is actually every single one. Is there a totally clear on that? Oops, that was actually my first try. That worked pretty well. I have to say. That feels like a pretty effective way of doing things. Huh. Oddly straightforward. Yeah. I'll take it. Sweet. His love for money allows him to defy gravity. Basement. Is it in the basement? There it is. All these multipliers, man. All these super multipliers. Ah! Okay, back to the basement. See, don't we have levels like exactly like this at one point though? Yeah, isn't it isn't this like an exact copy of one of the uh golf games actually? <laughs> it feels like it is. Like very exact actually. Ah. That's what you need anyways, 430. So if I can get these three into them into the 10. That's a start. There's more to it than that. <laughs> ah. So, I believe then that I want, what I actually want to do is just... ...repeat my strategy from last time. Stupid. But I can grab anything this time, too. Instead of only able to grab pucks. Oh, no, I, um, I was able to grab more pucks last time, too. So I start with these. Yeah, and then I need some other stuff going to the town. That was crappy. 
430 though. Oh my god. Penguin? Penguin! You stupid penguin! He jam I would have gone in gold and he jammed out the machine. Ugh. Again, the decorative characters they add to these levels have a strong tendency to cause greater issues. It actually does end when they when I get all the bugs. Uh, they, they kept some of the rolls, but not all of them. That's really weird. Okay. So I've done that. I swear, Penguin, why don't you just jump off? As long as that penguin doesn't cause a problem, which I think he might be doing right now. Okay, everything's working. Being excess of the required score as long as the game gives me this point. There you go. Okay. Because remember, if it's if the game ends before someone goes into the multiplier, the multiplier stops working. Even though you can get points after that point in time. As dumb as that is. Right. We are... <laughs> look at this. This is the last row of levels. Final six. Actually, really quite close. The end is nigh. Look at these points. 100 points. Phew. But... Why so many points? 21,000? Why though? And why, mo why more levels that are just multipliers? And really long ones at that. Are you supposed to like chip these in anyways? Actually not sure. You don't want that happening, for example. I mean, you, you don't have a net loss of points if you break a platform like that, but it does cause you problems. Crap. Of course, you can't. Duh! You can't get any tens at that point either. Get the 10 times multiplier at that point. Dude. Ugh. I guess you don't really need to worry too much on the negative block since whenever you actually break a uh like you don't want the negative blocks going to multiply, that's the thing. That aside, it's pretty okay, I think. Just letting the negative blocks do whatever. And even though if it's just a two nice multiplier, it doesn't really matter. So I was nowhere near the amount of points I needed. At all. And I was much more deliberate than I needed to be, but... I don't know how I'm going to do this, this episode. It's one of those levels that are really long, too. So I can get a start by doing this. I 
Ah. Stop the... Okay, lost me 900 points. I don't like levels that take forever on each attempt. This is one of those. Come now. Stop that! But I can only... Ah. Okay, so I can do this. Takes me somewhere. So I would have a pretty decent amount of points from that alone, breaking those few rounds if I hadn't missed anything. And I'm gonna be able to get that into a town. Yeah. I don't want to do stuff, sweet stuff like that because it get a negative into a negative into a the ten times more. Here's, of course, at the end I can just kind of go crazy and everything and let everything falls at me. Cause that got me about fifteen hundred. So I think I have an idea now. So I think I'll try that out next episode. I will have had a decent number more points. I will have had a good few thousand more at least if I hadn't messed up. So I think I'm on the right track. So I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, say Boomblock Smash Party. Bye, guys.